So uh, here's our call lab. And Rolf here will tell you a little bit about the different species of calls that we can find here and how they do. So we have a, mainly we have divided them into three different groups of corals. And uh, so you have soft corals, then you have uh, LPS, which means uh, large polyps coral, and then you have small polyps corals. And if you're going to start, we have the most of our soft corals are in the tank just behind you guys over there. And when we talk soft coral, it means they have no skeleton. So these will not kill the reef, they will just grow. When they die, they'll just disappear. So, no bones. Then we have the ones with the bigger polyps on the next tanks over there. So, so a single head can be like, like this big and uh, grow into a... Uh, but, but these will have a skeleton. And uh, we have some, uh, some dead ones over here. And these are skeletons from, from the corals over here. Just pass them around. And you can see that the, the coral can actually crawl all the way into this uh, skeleton and hide in there if somebody is uh, trying to eat it. <laughs> and, and you can feel it's uh, quite sharp uh, on the top. So that's why uh, feel up here so sharp. It's, that's why uh, you hurt yourself if you touch the coral, because that's what you're going to touch you. <laughs> That's also a kind of a defense mechanism for the coral. Yeah. Then we have the, the small polyp corals, and these are mainly over here. And um, and so every small like small dot, small polyp is an uh, is an animal. So you know that corals are animals, right? And uh, but they can live from the light because they have zooxanthellae uh, under the skin, and zooxanthellae is just algae. So this algae produce sugar for the corals, and then the corals uh, deliver whatever the, the algae needs of uh, nutrition. So, so they live that, like that uh, together. And uh, and these LPS, uh, sorry, these uh, SPS with the small polyps. These are the ones who are the most important for the reef. These are the ones that we will be replanting uh, to create reefs again. They're very, uh, they're very dense in the skeleton, so they can uh, withstand uh, big waves and so on, and uh, they will protect the islands uh, around it, or the coastline. Um, so they're very, very important. And they also make up a big uh, uh, place for, for all the fish and other invertebrates and so on to live. So, so, so how come you cut them up all from small parts then, <laughs> yeah. if they're so important? So, <laughs> So, so how to propagate them? So that's what, yeah. So in in uh, in the sea, you mostly see like uh, there's two ways that these uh, corals can propagate in the sea. One is uh, by sexual reproduction. So every year they they put out the eggs and the sperm at the same time at the full moon, and then uh, and these find each other uh, in the surface of the water, and then they become two uh, larvae. So these corals are actually, when they're born, they are larvae, and then they'll swim down and find a place <laughs> where they can uh, where they can live, and then they'll start growing, they'll start developing this uh, skeleton, and from there they'll be settled. They cannot move anymore. So, so but they start as a, as a small larvae, they can uh, swim around. The other way that the corals can uh, reproduce is by uh, is by cutting off uh, or breaking off uh, branches. And, and that also happens in the sea. Uh, maybe a big turtle comes along, uh, bump into the coral, and uh, some uh, some branches will fall off. And then, if they fall into a place that is a uh, hard rock, a hard uh, coral reef, then they can actually regrow on that coral reef from there. Here, we do the same thing. We use a saw or wires to cut the corals, and then we glue them onto these uh, small pieces of rock. So we can move them around and they can be secure here in the... Because there's a lot of water movement, so they don't all float to one side. And that's uh, yeah, that's mainly how, and that's... But when we do that, then then you only get the same genotype. 
so it will always be closed. So if we compare to you guys, it will be like cutting off your arm, and then a new person, completely like you, will grow out from that arm. So, so, so you have to be very careful when you do that. That uh, that you uh, you uh, still have a lot of different genotypes of the coral core cells. If this genotype is uh, specifically bad with some illnesses, then it will just die uh, when it gets a cold. So, uh, how, how many species do we have down here? <laughs> I don't know. You don't know anymore. No, no. Two hundred probably. Two hundred species. Yeah.